the mind is chiefly spoken of as of two kinds pure and impure the impure mind is that which is possessed of desire and the pure is that which is devoid of desire it is indeed the mind that is the cause of man's bondage and liberation the mind that is attached to sense objects leads to bondage while dissociated from sense objects it tends to lead to liberation so they think since liberation is predicated of the mind devoid of desire for sense objects therefore the mind should always be made free of such desire by the seeker after liberation when the mind with its attachment for sense objects annihilated is fully controlled within the heart and thus realizes its own essence then that supreme state the mind should be controlled to that extent in which it gets merged in the heart this is janana and this is dhyana also all else is argumentation and verbiage is neither to be thought of nor unworthy to be thought of nor is it to be thought but to be thought of that brahman which is free from all partiality is attained in that state one should duly practice concentration on om through the means of its letters then meditate on om without regard to its letters finally on the realization with this latter form of meditation on om the idea of the non entity is attained as entity that alone is brahman without component parts without doubt and without taint realizing i am that brahman one becomes the immutable brahman without doubt endless beyond reason and analogy beyond all proofs and causeless knowing which the wise one becomes free the highest truth is that which realizes there is neither control of the mind nor its coming into play neither am i bound nor am i a worshipper neither am i a seeker after liberation nor one who has attained liberation verily the atman should be known as being the same in its states of wakefulness dreaming and dreamless sleep for him who has transcended the three states there is no more rebirth being the one the universal soul is present in all beings though one it is seen as many like the moon in the water just as it is the jar which being removed changes places and not the akasha enclosed in the jar so is the jiva which resembles the akasha when various forms like the jar are broken again and again the akasha does not know them to be broken but he knows perfectly being covered by maya which is a mere sound it does not through darkness know the akasha when ignorance is rent asunder it being then itself only sees the unity the om as word is the supreme brahman after that has vanished that imperishable brahman the wise one should meditate on that imperishable brahman if he desires the peace of his soul two kinds of vidya ought to be known the word brahman and the supreme brahman one having mastered the word brahman attains to the highest brahman after studying the vedas the intelligent one who is solely intent on acquiring knowledge and realization should discard the vedas altogether as the man who seeks to obtain rice discards the husk of cows which are of diverse colors the milk is of the same color regards janana as the milk and the many branched vedas as the cows like the butter hidden in milk the pure consciousness resides in every being that ought to be constantly churned out by the churning rod of the mind taking hold of the rope of knowledge one should bring out like fire the supreme brahman i am that brahman indivisible immutable and calm thus it is thought of in whom reside all beings and who resides in all beings by virtue of his being the giver of grace to all i am that soul of the universe the supreme being i am that soul of the universe the supreme being oh.